a matter of time before Bentley joins Porsche and Range Rover in the luxury SUV segment, especially when you consider the Bentley CEO, Wolfgang Gerheimer, and the engineering boss, Rolf Fleck, the two men behind the success of the Porsche Cayenne. Now the styling is gonna be the controversial point here. I'll leave it up to you to decide, but there's definitely no missing this massive Mulsanne-inspired grille. There's also Mulsanne headlights, these amazing turbine-like air belts. And if we move along the side of the car, we've got 23-inch alloys, we've got huge haunches inspired by the Continental GT, flying Vs on the side air vents, but the best bit is around the back. Come and have a look. So around the back, you've got this huge split electrically powered tailgate, which opens up to reveal this amazing leather lined boot. In true Bentley style, you've got two top quality built-in picnic sets here. And the fun doesn't end there. There's a electric blinds that can come out and give you a bit of shade. There's a built-in stereo. And this lip here, you can sit on, you can even stand on and it's all designed to just have a good time and to be rugged for the outdoors. In terms of size, well this thing is a little bit bigger than a Porsche Cayenne in terms of height and width, but a little bit smaller than a Range Rover. What it is though, is longer than both of those cars. So in the back, there's 200 millimeters more headroom than in a Range Rover. As you can see, it's exquisitely trimmed in all sorts of leather and wood, as you'd expect from a Bentley, but there's these ultra-modern iPhone-looking screens in the front and in the rear headrests. It really is a spectacular thing to look at, and here's a fact you might not have known. All the controls on this car are made extra big. That's so you can use them when you're wearing driving gloves. How Bentley is that? 